Okay, so first I need to decide if I want a taller hat or a longer hat. If I want it to be tall, I'm going to hold my paper tall like this. And I'm starting with one big sad face at the top and draw two lines coming down from there. However long I want my hat to be or tall I want my hat to be is how long I need to make those two lines. And then I'm going to do a big letter C on the bottom to be the bill of my hat. And I'm going to draw a band which you do not have to do a band, or your band could be a little bit different from mine across the middle of my hat. Now I need to decide what texture I want my hat to be. I'm going to make the top more of a spiky texture and go in with these dotted lines. And I took my dotted lines into the other side and then I repeated them on the top as well just to make that texture come more into life like it's spread out and going in different directions on my hat. And later I'll go in with my color and kind of make that texture come to life again. Now I'm gonna make the bill of my hat a different texture. I'm gonna do some wavy lines over and over again to make it look fluffy. And it's okay if your texture is different from the top or you can make them the same. And you can add something like a feather or a jewel to your hat to make it just a little more fun. So now I'm done with my texture and my drawings. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the coloring part. Now this is where you need to decide if you're going to have a warm or a cool hat. So remember warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. And cool colors are what I chose, blue, green, and purple. So I went in and started with my green band and my purple feathers. And here's where I'm going to do kind of like a tie-dye effect to make my top part of my hat look a little more fuzzy or spiky and do this like tie-dye blending type thing with my oil pastels. Because remember, you can take your finger and smudge oil pastels and that really helps texture come to life as well. So your oil pastels are going to help you define that texture in your hat. So I'm just going in with my finger and blending in those blues to kind of make a fuzzy texture. And you can always go back in like I did and scribble some more color in there and blend that. Of course, it's okay if you blend outside of the edge because we will be cutting these out later. Now, I wanted the bottom of my hat just to be solid purple. And I blended that in with a different finger so the blue didn't get in my purple. And then my hat is completely colored. So now... I'm going to wash off my fingers with a wet wipe and start cutting out my hat. So this is why it's okay if you blend outside of the lines because we are going to cut these out. I'm trying my best to stay on that outside sharpie line and cut slowly and carefully staying on that black line. We don't want any white from that paper showing on the outside so we're going to try our best to stay right on top of that sharpie line and my hat has escaped the paper write my name and class code on the back with a pencil